You can't change your past, but Christ can. Christ can change the past by covering your sins with his blood and forgiving all the sins and mistakes you ever made. He can wipe out everything that's recorded on those tapes. That's a wonderful thing because God has a set of tapes in which everything you've ever said and everything you've ever done and everything you've ever thought is there and will be played at the judgment. But if you come to Christ and surrender totally to Him, He wipes out the tapes, He erases the tapes, and no one will ever hear them. Somebody says, follow your conscience, but your conscience may be seared or it may be dead. It may be no good. It'll lead you wrong. You can be sincere, but be wrong. And many of you can be sincere in your beliefs and in what you're doing and the way you're living, but deep in your heart, you're wrong. You're not going according to the scriptures. You're not going according to what Christ says. And the scripture says you must come to the cross and repent of your sins and let Christ forgive your sins from the cross and wash your sins by his own blood and receive the righteousness of God. God has an ability that you don't have. He has the ability to forget. He forgets our sins. And that's the most thrilling thought in the world is to go to bed at night and know that your sins are forgiven. And many of you must decide this afternoon. Before you leave here, every person here will decide one way or the other about your relationship to God. Some of you need to rededicate your life to Christ. Some of you need a new experience with Christ. Others of you need to come to Christ perhaps for the first time in total surrender of your life to Him if you're going to be forgiven of your sins, if you're going to get to heaven. What about you? Do you know Christ? Are you ready for death? Because it's coming. And for some of you, there's no way out. There's pressures and troubles and trials in your life and difficulties and problems and there seems to be no answer. It may be you and your wife. You just can't seem to make it. You, you, you love each other and yet you don't. And you fight and you scrap. Is there any way out? Yes, there's a way. Jesus said, I am the way. The choice that some of you make today will decide where your children are going to be, where your grandchildren are going to be, what their lives are going to be like. It's the choices that we make. Moses said, I call heaven and earth to record this day that I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your children may live. It affected future generations. What are you going to do about it?